all right before we get into the video just real quick a trigger warning i guess um anyone that's dealt with uh losing a loved one or death in general if you don't want to cry <laughs> or you know feel sad or whatever obviously this isn't a video for you however don't click off <laughs> just mute that shit let it run you know what i'm saying i need that i need that watch time <laughs> But nah, today I uh, I want to make a video and I want to talk about just coping with uh, losing a loved one, losing somebody you care for, losing a loved one. It's uh, it's tough and it's something that I feel like all of us deal with at some point in time, whether it's a parent or a cousin or a sibling or a best friend, whatever, you know, whatever the case may be. At some point, you know, you lose people you love and <sighs> it's tough. What reminded me of, or not reminded me, but what made me want to make this video was on the 29th uh, was the day that my mother passed. Um, but, you know, obviously I've talked about it a bunch of times on the channel. It was back in uh, 2013, but it's something that, you know, I got reminded of, you know, I get reminded of every year, every January. And it's, it's a tough day. Every year it's a tough day. It's a sad day. But, you know, I have uh, pictures of my mom. I have a picture of her on my desk but it's like i'm making the video you know she gets she looks at me you know she got get to see her and it, it's always great to see my mom but it's a bittersweet thing it's sad and you know over the years i've learned what ways of coping and learned ways of uh, not to get over it because you're never going to get over it but just to live with it and celebrate the good things and not always dwell on the negative you know so yeah, today I guess I wanna talk about how to cope with losing a loved one. And I just wanna share some of my ways I feel like I have learned to live with it. So the first thing I wanna say is it's never gonna go away. It's not something that goes away. It's not something that you're not sad about. It's not something that you will get over. People that say, oh, it gets better with time. It's, uh, it's just not true. It doesn't get better, right? It's the same thing. It still happened, it's still, is with you, but you get better at learning to live with it. And I feel like that's the distinction that a lot of people don't make when talking about this. For me, when I first lost my mom, I don't know, I felt like I was going crazy. For me, it felt like I was dying or I don't know, it, it felt painful. And I remember, you know, going to the funeral and just seeing her in the casket and just breaking down and just sobbing, sobbing, just pain. It was just so much pain. and. uh my uncle came up her brother and you know he was just holding me and he let me cry but it hurt a lot and uh it was hard for the first time in my life the person that i loved the most in my life outside of my brother was gone i had to lose somebody that i love more than anyone else in the world the person that took care of me that raised me that loved me unconditionally and now i have to figure life out without a parent the only parent i have so as you can imagine it was tough at the time, I didn't have money or, you know, insurance to go to therapy. I didn't have anyone to really talk to about it. I kind of just had to deal with it. And because of that, it, it hurt me a lot mentally, emotionally, and it even affected my physical health because I just wasn't taking care of myself. So I had to learn ways to cope. And that's what I, I'm here for today because I want to try to make it a little easier for you to deal with these things, to live with these things. So the first thing that I wanna talk about that I learned over time was to celebrate the good parts of their life, good things that they've done or attributed to your life. Uh, these things can be anything, right? It, it could literally be anything. It could be lessons that they taught you. It could be ways that they've taught you how to live and to survive. It could be the love that they poured into you when they were here. It could be many, many, many different things, but. When you learn to celebrate those things, it keeps your mind preoccupied on positivity and off of the negativity. For instance, on my mom's, you know, anniversary of her death, right? I would used to sob and cry and lay in bed all day and be sad. Now I go to her grave. I talk to her. I speak to her. I tell her how much I care about her. Sometimes I'll bring her like little snacks or flowers or stuff to like leave and I get to talk to my mom on those days about the good things. I get to update her about my life. I get to tell her about all the great things that I'm doing and how I'm trying to better myself as a person. And obviously I believe that my mom is watching me at all times. So she knows these things already, but it feels so good to go and visit her and tell her these things to explain to her like, hey mom, like I've been doing a great job doing this, doing this, doing this. I'm trying to do this, do this, do this. And for me, that really helps. It helps a lot, man. And I think when you celebrate the, the good, the positives, it will help you as well. 
instead of being sad on that, that day or being sad on those random days where you need that person, why don't you write down some stuff? Uh, write down good memories or things that you and that person share together. That's something that I try to do. Sometimes I'll write down or I'll try to my thoughts or my feelings into a creative outlet. And that helps me a lot. So we've talked about celebrating the good things. Uh, we talked about writing things down, journaling, things like that. Something else that I think is very helpful for me when it comes to my mom is I try to think about things from her perspective more, right? When I get really, really sad and I want to cry and I'm hurt and things like that and I want to just give up or I want to shell up, you know, when I'm sad about my mom, I think about how my mom would feel, right? How would my mom feel? She knew every time I thought about her, I was getting sad. I was getting sad. I was I was hurt. I was in pain that I wasn't prospering, that I wasn't living my life the way that she would want me to. She wants me to be happy. And when I think about how my mom is looking at the situation or how she would look at the situation, that helps me. That helps me turn my like thought process at the time completely around because I'm like, yeah, my mom wouldn't want me to cry. My mom wouldn't want me sad. My mom would want me happy. My mom would want me to remember positive things about her and not dwell on these negatives. Like, yeah, my mom is gone, but she's still here in my heart. I still have memories of my mom. I don't know. I think that is also very helpful for me. Something that was very difficult for me to learn was that in the simplest terms, losing someone you love is not the end of the world. You have to sit in your emotions and you have to feel them. And when you do that and you feel your emotions, you can process them easier. So knowing right that, man, life goes on. So you have to get through these things. You can't sit here and dwell on it. You can't sit there and not do the things that you know that you need to do. Because if you waste your life because of being sad or being upset, there's so many things you're going to miss out on. Something that it was hard for me. That was a hard pill to swallow is that, man, life goes on because you don't want life to go on without your loved one, obviously. But it does. It's as simple as that. Life literally goes on and you have to continue to go to work. You have to continue to go to school. You have to continue to do all of the things that you were doing previous. You're just a lot more sad now. The quicker you realize that life goes on and you have to, I'm not going to say tough it out, but you have to learn how to process your emotions. And you have to get past it. Not in the sense of forgetting it. Never should forget your loved ones. Sometimes you got to put that sadness down, put it in your pocket for a little bit until you have time to sit in your emotions, to sit there and process everything so you can feel better. And I think for me, that was the most difficult thing about losing my mom, you know, besides losing her. <laughs> All of these things help me. They help me basically find ways to live with the fact that my mom is gone and I'm upset. And I hope that some of these things will help you. I hope that you'll be able to leave this video learning something or maybe having a better idea of something you could do to help get you through your situation. And obviously leave any comments below if you have any questions or you have, you know, just concerns or you need some advice. I'm here. I look at them. At the end of the day, though, I think the thing that is most important is the fact that we celebrate life, the fact that we celebrate that person that we lost and that we make sure that they know when they're watching us that we're living life. And even though we get sad about them, we're not allowing that to defeat us. We're not allowing that to stop us from the things we need to. That, my friends, is what matters most.